Once upon a time, in ancient India, there lived a prince named Siddhartha Gautama. He was the son of King Suddhodna and Queen Maya and was destined to inherit the throne of the kingdom of Kapilvastu. However, even from a young age, Siddhartha was troubled by the suffering he saw around him. He witnessed the poverty, sickness and death that plagued his people and he longed to find a way to alleviate their suffering. As he grew older, Siddhartha became more and more dissatisfied with his life as a prince. He felt trapped by the luxurious palace walls and the strict societal expectations placed upon him. One day, he ventured outside the palace gates and encountered a sick man, an old man and a corpse. These sights shook him to his core and made him realize the impermanence and fragility of human life. Siddhartha knew that he could not find the answers to life's deepest questions within the walls of the palace. He decided to leave his privileged life behind and become a wandering ascetic, seeking enlightenment and a way to end suffering. He left his wife, son and all his worldly possessions behind and set out on a journey that would change his life forever. For six years, Siddhartha studied under various teachers and practiced extreme forms of asceticism. He lived in the forest, ate only a few grains of rice a day and practiced self-mortification in the hopes of reaching enlightenment. However, he found that these practices only brought him closer to death and did not lead to true enlightenment. One day, Siddhartha sat beneath a bodhi tree and resolved to stay there until he had found the truth. He meditated for six days and nights, battling with Mara, the demon of desire, who tried to distract him from his goal. But Siddhartha remained steadfast, and on the seventh day, he reached enlightenment. He understood the four noble truths and the eightfold path, which would become the foundation of Buddhism. Siddhartha became known as the Buddha, which means the Awakened One. He spent the rest of his life traveling throughout India, teaching others about the path to enlightenment and spreading his message of compassion and peace. One of the most famous stories about the Buddha involves a woman named Kisa Gotmi. Kisa Gotmi had a young son who died and she was so overcome with grief that she could not accept his death. She went from house to house, asking for medicine that would bring her son back to life. Finally, someone suggested that she seek out the Buddha and ask him for help. Kisa Gotmi went to the Buddha and begged him to bring her son back to life. The Buddha replied that he could do so but that she must first bring him a mustard seed from a household where no one had ever died. Kisa Gotmi was overjoyed at the prospect of her son's resurrection and set out on her mission. She went from house to house, asking for a mustard seed, but each time, the householders told her that someone had died there. Kisa Gotmi slowly began to realize that death was a universal experience and that her grief was not unique. She returned to the Buddha, having failed to find a mustard seed, but having gained a newfound understanding of the nature of suffering. The Buddha taught Kisa Gotmi that death is inevitable and that all living beings experience suffering. He showed her the path to enlightenment which would allow her to transcend suffering and achieve lasting happiness. The story of Kisa Gotmi illustrates one of the central teachings of Buddhism, the impermanence of all things. The Buddha taught that everything in life is constantly changing and that clinging to things that are impa. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.